Phillies hosting the Giants, and the Giants are plus 144 on the money line. The Phillies are minus 172. Over under is eight and a half runs. The Giants getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 138, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Phillies laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 115, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win this game by a minimum of two runs. Now, these are the overnight odds. They are going to change the closer we get to first pitch tomorrow. So if you like a particular team or you like a particular pitcher, do your best to make sure that you select the pitcher that you want overnight because already I've seen some of these games change their pitching matchups. Alexander has pitched twice against the Phillies this year in relief, and the Giants won both of those games. One and a third, no runs, no earn. They won 5-3. He didn't strike anyone out. One inning, no runs, no earn. They won 7-4. He struck out one batter. They are 2-8 and eight as a team in his last 10 appearances. He's averaging two-thirds of an inning pitched and .6 strikeouts per game in those games. He's been mainly used in relief. In his last five, I guess that I would call it starts, but this is what they consider his starts. Uh, two and three with a one ERA, and like I said, averaging two-thirds innings pitched. He is not a strikeout guy. No earned runs, two strikeouts, 18 pitches, three earned runs, no strikeouts, 11 pitches. Then back-to-back -back games with no earned runs, no strikeouts, and then one strikeout, seven pitches, 16 pitches, two earned runs, no strikeouts, 16 pitches. So it makes sense why the Phillies are as heavy of a favorite as they are. Now, Nola pitched once against the Giants last year. Six innings, five runs, five earned, and they won that game six to five. He struck out five. They are five and five as a team in his last 10 appearances. He's averaging five and two thirds innings pitched and 6.7 strikeouts per game in those games. In his last five starts, they are three and two with, uh, he's averaging five and a third innings pitched. He's got an ERA of 3.6 and the over is four and one in his last five starts. Four earned runs, seven strikeouts, 92 pitches. One earned run, six strikeouts, 105 pitches. Five earned runs, eight strikeouts, 100 pitches. Five earned runs, six strikeouts, 98 pitches. Three earned runs, seven strikeouts, 85 pitches. That's his last five starts. Head to head, the home team is on a seven game winning streak. The home team is eight and two. The Giants are on a six game winning streak against the Phillies. The Giants are nine and one against the Phillies in their last 10. The favorite is six and four on the money line, while the underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is six and four. There have been four one run games in their last 10 meetings, one in their last four. The over is six, two and two in their last 10, and the over eight and a half runs is eight and two. The last two, four, six games that they've played, like I said, the Giants have won seven, four, four, three, six, three, five, three, five, four, and 13 to one. So the Giants are a perfect 3-0 against the Phillies so far this year. The Giants are 3-7 in their last 10, 1-3 in their last 4. The under is 7-3 in their last 10. Losing to the Rays 6-1, then losing to the Braves 4-0 and 6-5, and then beating the Braves today 4-3. For the Phillies, they are 5-5 five five in their last 10. The under is 5-4-1 in their last 10. Beating the Blue Jays 9-4, losing the Nationals 8-7, then beating the Nationals 12-3, and then making a comeback in the ninth inning, but still losing 4-3 to the Nationals today. Now, I'm on the fence about this game because do you follow the stats that the Giants just absolutely own the Phillies and it just doesn't matter who the Phillies throw? Or do you take into account that now Nola's pitching and... You know, the last time that they won, Nola was on the mound. I'm going to take the Phillies in this one, and it's probably going to come back to bite me in the ass, but I'm going to take the Phillies with the money line. I'm going to take the Phillies laying the runs, and I'm going to go over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.